Okay, here's the first update with a couple of bug fixes and a bunch of changes that came about from rescaling everything. The first bug occurred if you immediately press the action button on Game Over, which re-entered the game without clearing the board. It was easily solved by swapping the menu and game in progress variables here. The second bug allowed this timer to fire off when a block was at rest and a line check was being performed, causing the game to end when it shouldn't. The timer wasn't being cleared here since I hadn't set the timer variable, cause I'm an idiot. Anyway, as UMP UA pointed out on YouTube, the scale of everything in the game was huge way bigger than existing assets and causing problems with lighting and reflections. And the size of a cube is 100 by 100 by 100. So this will move down by one cube. Now objects are one tenth of the previous size along with any values dealing with location and movement. When I started learning UE4 there was no VR world to meters option, so I just built things at a size that felt right. Now that I've had the chance to mess around with the world to meters value, the default of 100 actually seems to strike a nice balance. The other thing that needed to be reduced was the particles, though simply dividing the sizes by 10 isn't guaranteed to give good results. So I took the opportunity to work on the particle system some more and I think they look a lot better than they did. Here's a quick tip if you're resizing particles and you find them mysteriously disappearing in game. Check the material for a depth fade node and take a look at the fade distance value. When connected to the opacity of a material it controls the distance at which the material will fade when near another object. The final change was replacing the spotlight with a directional light. The spotlight had a high source radius to give the desired effect, but also gave undesired shadow artifacts. The directional light has no such problems and just looks better I think. <laughs> 